I'm going to throw this in at the beginning real quick, guys. If you haven't already, check out on the Couple channel. We did a vlog in Baltimore. It actually turned out really good. I just feel like a lot of you guys forget that there's like a Couple channel too. But it was really, really neat to like go somewhere different, explore a different state, different city. So check it out, guys. Back to the video. What is up, my riders? So we're going up to my paps. I don't know if you can even hear me. The windows are down for weenie hold up going to my paps to mow like always got to mow his neighbors houses and stuff and whatever else i end up doing but i'll try to record it all for you guys i might have to do pressure washing this week i'm not sure casey wants me to pet her belly while i'm driving um <clears throat> yeah just gonna take you guys along with me because i like to uh try to get daily vlogs up and stuff for you guys with a little bit of car mixed in Hopefully you guys enjoy. You have to let me know in the comments. I'm not seeing as many people on the channel, but hopefully we can get it back with the car stuff. All right, let's get into it. There's my old school to the right. Now they're apartments. With, with Sissy to get food. After mowing, already done. What the hell? Why do I hear a dog barking at me? Alright, boys, we're going back home. Long day, but we're finally finishing up at five. Casey Weenie Dog's with us. Just ate Subway. Tasted like crap. Remind me never to eat Subway again, boys. Remind me that. We're in PA. Lancaster. Sure does all look the same. But, I don't know, boys. Your boys actually starting to become like happy again. <clears throat> I'm starting to get like genuine happiness back after I stopped vaping been two weeks now but that's a big difference from <laughs> the normal uh, the longest I've been able to go without nicotine has been like maybe a week and then I usually cave right around a week but your boy has made it feeling good feeling more motivated feeling more mentally put together I just hope I can stick with it and keep grinding it out just getting like waves of euphoria just going down these back roads that I grew up on and stuff which is usually a sign that my happiness is coming back slowly but surely
All right, boys, we got my car out one last day to try to get some exhaust clips. Going to Dollar General to get energy drinks. Like this now. Alright boys, we're gonna head home. I got some that what they call rain energy drinks so I can work out and then I'll close the video out after that. So many cars out because it's nice. It's 82 out. I wouldn't consider that nice, but it's warm now. Alright boys, I'll show you what we got. Two oranges. And I got one rainbow sherbet. Apparently they changed the rainbow sherbet because my cousin said the top, some of them are silver and some are black, which means they changed the flavor, but who knows? I'm gonna go down, try it, and then work out. All right, boys, Casey's doing some wild stuff. I got my drink and ice because it wasn't cold, and we're gonna start working out. There's your boy, gotta stick with it. We're on day 16 of no nick which is the longest I've ever been off nicotine. 16 being two weeks and two days off nicotine. Kind of feel better, kind of don't. I kind of miss it. I miss the feeling of just having like insane motivation from it because it's like a crazy stim to the point like caffeine doesn't even compare. I have to take like upwards of 600 milligrams of caffeine to feel anything. Also, if you want to see a video of me and my cousin, or me and Danny, I don't know if Danny will do it or not. She got me these noodles. The world's spiciest noodles you can buy, apparently. I was gonna post the video as is, and I decided I'm gonna throw this in at the end because I don't even know what I'm gonna title my video. There's no clear title that the video even should have. So I figured I was just gonna end off this video in the GLI talking about why I might be just holding on to the GLI as a daily and just waiting maybe a year or so before changing up the platform. There is no deep, dark secret I didn't make the selling the GLI as an excuse. I was actually kind of getting tired of having issues with it since I still have a manifold issue that I have to address at some point. It's not like something that affects me majorly, but it still affects the performance of the car nonetheless. So right now, it's fine for a daily driver. I would love to actually get rid of it and look at like a BMW. I was leaning heavily towards an N55 uh, 335i. Thing is, I don't know if I can get that much for my GLI. The market was really good at one point and I still, when I post it, I get recognized by people from New Jersey, PA. And they're like, yo, you're selling the legendary GLI. Why are you doing that? Like I've, I've had a couple people reach out about it. There was a price point in mind that I was willing to get if I could get it working. And that's why I decided to get it working. The lowest I want to do is 17 because it's literally such a low mile car. My car has 47,000 miles. I don't know how mile per hour thing on the side and I don't know how to get rid of it. So it's really low mile, 2016, meticulously maintained. I did have an issue, I can't go on and pretend like that didn't happen. But 17 grand seems like a great deal for right now. And I've just been getting no traction. The majority of the people that uh, hit me up wanna do trades and they wanna trade cars with insanely high mileage. One that was gonna trade me a Mark 7 GTI or a Mark 6 GTI, both with 90,000 miles on the engine and the body, and it was swapped over. 
so it's not even the original engine that was in it so there are people that do have problems people don't like to admit when they own the car but this engine the gen 3 has problems but the gen 3 2.0 has its fair amount of problems just like any other car so your boy might just hold on to it if i can't get the amount that i'm asking for because it would just be like giving away the car and i need a set amount so that i can get into something else that's decent for the channel and everyone was like well if you're having problems with the car why don't you just get rid of the car and get something reliable and then save up i could do that but if my car is not having problems right now why would i do that it kind of defeats the whole purpose so that's kind of my thought process let me know what you guys think in the comments down below but this is going to be the like update on my car as it stands right now also i want to add yes i i still have a check engine light it's for fuel pump and the manifold runner flaps and i know people delete them and code out the light I've just been living with it and it doesn't seem awful i'm probably losing like a 10 to 15 horsepower maybe don't know because I don't know how long I've even been having the problem, but I think now that it got warmer, I'm not getting the boot mode because for some reason when it's real cold, it really wants to make a lot more boost. When it's warm, I don't really get it. It's like 70s normally in PA, whereas when it was 50s, 40s, yeah, every time I would go into boost, my car would limp mode with wide open throttle. All right, boys, that is all for today. I uh, got two days collaborated into one. So hopefully that was enough content for you guys. I'm gonna try to keep doing more. But let me know down below what you'd like to see next. Trying to be as open as possible and trying to get as much content out for you guys as I physically can. But uh, I know it's hard to constantly get exciting stuff for you guys, but I'm trying my best. All right, guys, love you. Make sure to be happy with us. I'll see you guys next one as always.